And it goes like, oh, 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 Augustine, I hope you know you got my heart into a million pieces. And it goes like this, don't you? Uh, my first job, I worked at a Philadelphia soft pretzel factory in uh, Horsham, where I grew up, right outside of Philly. And I did not like it. No, I had to be there at like 5.30 in the morning. I didn't realize there was such like a, uh, that soft pretzels were such an early morning thing for people. Like people bring like two dozen of them to work. So I signed up for this job thinking it would just be like a casual after school thing. Yeah, and I lasted like a month and a half. I was out. Oh, our homie, our number one OG homie, Damn Skippy in Charleston. He's a rapper. He, um, he's from right outside of Asheville. He lived in Colorado for like seven years. And um, now he's in Charleston, he's been there for a bit. He does a bunch of video work with us. We do a bunch of collabs. He's on our song, Give Me The Beat. He does the third verse on it. We got a bunch of more collab tracks coming out. But just like awesome lyricist, awesome presence, and all around just like the nicest dude we've ever met in our life. So that's the dude you gotta check out. Um, uh, life in general, I had a pretty good one. I was dating a girl for a while from Poland and I went over to Poland for the first time Christmas a few years ago. And uh, the night I got there, she was gonna go join her sister at like a pool spa for her sister's bachelorette party. I was gonna just hang back and go to bed. Last minute they were like, John, you should come and, and uh, bring Cora's dad too. He's gonna come and bring your bathing suits. We're gonna go swimming. And I didn't bring a bathing suit to Poland in December because who would do that? And so I had to rock her dad's Speedo at the, at the spa. I just strapped it on and was like, we're doing this. Straight out of Meet the Parents, like the same scene. Ooh, I'm between the pilot and the loves. Love them both, man, just travel centers. Well, I would say my favorite band through college was like was Fish, kind of still is Fish. I think that's probably the band I've ever, ever become most attached to and seen live all the time. Growing up, I was a little more into like the pop punk. I loved something corporate. Growing up was my oh, it's my fucking jam. Uh, nice and emotional, but yeah, I would say probably probably something corporate. Growing up, Fish in the college days. Oh, it's actually a good story. I had um, I had bought my fourth grade girlfriend the Destiny's Child CD, and um, I, I listened to it before I gave it to her. I liked it so much that I kept it. So it was Destiny's Child. So I gave her like a bracelet instead. Oh man. I've always, uh, like, I think when I first started playing guitar and writing songs, I was very much into the slightly stupid, sublime Jack Johnson, G Love. Growing up in Philly, especially, listening to G Love a bunch. Uh, but yeah, that, that very much that realm of music kind of timed with the time I was learning to play guitar and learning to write lyrics was probably what really influenced me to play. I think um, I think my biggest thing is just to try to be as authentic as possible and genuine to yourself. It's so easy to like chase what is in and current and sounds and nowadays like things are in for such a short amount of time that I feel like if you're chasing something that is hot by the time you as an independent artist get known like there's already something new that's going to be out there so i think just being authentic to your creative self is the biggest thing you can do uh favorite holiday just passed thanksgiving baby uh I, th I was actually talking to my family about it last night it was like i think as i've gotten older you know it's less about like my christmases now aren't even that they're they're great and they get everyone together but it's, Something about Thanksgiving like really brings the family together and the feasting and the naps. The, it's, yeah, it's just, 
the beers, the wine, like the whole thing, man. It's a, it's a great combination of things. Um, man, that has changed so much for me. But I, I think all, overall, I gotta say, just like a bowl of pasta with red sauce. I make a really mean red sauce. So, yeah, just spaghetti, man. Uh, yeah, I do. I do think that in some form or another, like, the Skynet. 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 Terminator 2 Skynet. Oh, Terminator. Yeah, the, dude, I think it's inevitable that, like, the speed at which things are happening right now. You ever watch a Ray Kurzweil documentary? The, uh, what's it called? The something, Transcendental Man. It talks about the exponential curve of technology and how we're going to reach a point called singularity where it's just we can't keep up with it unless we ourselves are artificial, artificially intelligent too. And yeah, yeah, I played, um, I played a lot of sports growing up, but I stuck with baseball the longest, played baseball through high school. Um, I was an outfielder, but you know, I was good fundamental player, but everybody like hit puberty before me and grew, and I was just this little shrimp for like the longest time, so I just got out. Overpowered. Um, we had a pretty good one. If you ask Kev, he would probably tell you the same one because it was the most recent. But yeah, we got pulled over coming. Uh, we were in South Carolina coming back from Georgia and got pulled over. And Kev had like just a little bit of weed in the car, like a bowl pack. And um, cop, cop had pulled us over. The next car that came up was the canine unit. Guy brought the shepherd out and started barking its head off. And uh, yeah, so we kept got like a fat ticket. They took the bowl. Literally, it was like so it, was recently. it was like that much weed. Yeah. Oh, uh, just like bagel and cream cheese. Everything bagel with cream cheese. Not a huge breakfast guy. Um, I always liked I always liked English class or any like writing classes. I was a big fan of banging out papers and um, I, I used to read more than I do now, so I enjoyed that. But yeah, for sure, the English. Damn, my favorite memory. The very first time, I remember the very first time my head went underwater. I was a really little kid on the beach with like a close family friend and I was kind of in the shallow end and like looked back at my mom and the next thing I knew the kid who was a few years older than me they just grabbed me and threw me under and like that I remember just that sensation of being like holy fucking shit the first time I was fully submerged like on my own not in my mom's arms you know but for whatever reason that one just like was burnt in my head Um, shit. I like don't do anything else besides music. <laughs> I'm either traveling, playing music, or if I'm not, I'm stoked to be home and I'm making music. Uh, I love having beers with my friends. I don't know if that counts as a hobby, but. I just watch The Office every single night. Every night, dude. I'll look at other stuff, I'm like, uh.